priest Dominus Krull, due to warpstorms my reclamation fleet has made inefficient progress across the galaxy. We have followed a signal and arrived here at Bordek Stark. But what has happened to this place? This was once a subject world of Mars. Now all I see are blasphemies against the machine god. Logic dictates only one course of action. Activate the Skitari legions. Deploy the Knights of House Terry. Prepare the Valian device. We will cleanse this planet in the name of the Messiah. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So we have the first trailer looking at, of course, Engine War. We have a brand new article filled with all the information, previews of new models, everything like that. So let's jump in and let's take a look and let's have a read. So the first section is labelled Aerial Attack and of course it shows off some of the new aerial units which are coming for the Admech forces. It says, if your enemies are resistant to the teachings of the Machine God, then it's only logical to come at things from a different angle, such as above. Of course, because it's new air units. Uh, the Petaraxi, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, are cyborg warriors equipped with flight packs. They come in two different units. The Sterlizers, who are honed for aggression, and the Skystalkers, who seek out the best vantage points from which to pick off targets with their flechette carbines. Flechette carbines, I mean, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So basically, it seems that you're getting um, the kind of flamers, which are, um, are in the background now, which are basically called the Sterlizers. Again, I'm, I'm completely bored butchering that name, so you have to forgive me, and the Skystalkers, which seem to be aerial snipers, which sound absolutely cool, because, you know, this I think that's the first time I've ever seen a flying sniper unit in Warhammer 40,000, unless there's some other Xenos kind of flying sniper that I'm not aware of, but anyway, first thing for the um, Imperium, let's say, a flying um, sniper unit. I'm moving on with more of the air stuff, now, um, we've all seen this before, this is the new air transport that's coming for the Admech, um, it's very themed around, I, well, I personally think, you know, like, the Michelangelo kind of sketches, for those of you aware, when he tried to, like, make flying aircrafts and stuff, I think the whole theme of the flying stuff from the Admech is based around those type of sketches, I think it's really, really cool, I know some people disagree, and some people have different opinions on it, but for me personally, I actually kind of like the look of it. I, I think it, you know, it fits that kind of cool esque type of style. Now, for this aircraft, it comes in three different variants. It says this new kit builds three different unit options. That's 11 if you count in binary, of course. The Transvector is an aerial transport craft capable of delivering infantry in speed and style and safety. If only my glorious Primaris got something like this. Only kidding. I know you had make need it as well. If you prefer bombers, choose the Fusilave, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, and drop payloads of ground penetrating technomanic bombs that cause seis seismic shockwaves, okay? And, and it says, finally, is the Stratoraptor is a ground attack variant soaring into strafe targets with its heavy phosphor blasters. Okay, that sounds pretty cool as well. It ends with the kit is incredible customizable with optional war gear and the ability to build in the flying or landed mode with the landing skids and legs modeled in different positions. Yes, I think we've seen all that like with some of the images that we got when they actually previewed this at event like a couple of more. I think it was in January at the New Year's Open Day, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the next setting is, of course, Ride to Victory, and this is the new mounted um, um, kits coming for the Admech, which completely were just like came out of the blue for me. It's like Admech riding cyborg horses you know that seems pretty cool and 40k so yeah it's yeah let's jump into it so it says um the adeptus mechanicus are also getting some new options on four legs too only the finest guitaria are promoted into the corpse of Sibiris cavalry hopefully i'm pronouncing that right i probably haven't i butchered it as i always do once there some of them join the raiders long range scouts who excel in outflanking the enemy units and those are the chaps at the back there you know big guns swords um like revolver things others join the sulfur hound I, they, they, that sounds a lot more cooler. Shotline breakers who smash through the defensive positions, leaving no survivors. And you can actually see with their weapons, like even like the mounts have like flamers um, as their faces and stuff like that, which I find really, really cool. So I'm sure these things are going to have like Overwatch and all that kind of stuff with flame weapons. So it's something that you probably won't want to be charging in. Some of the weapons that are actually on them, um, you can see like the double revolvers and um, some models and stuff like that. So they do have melee options and all that kind of stuff. It says, who doesn't love mechanical fire breathing dog slash horse creatures? All of these new units are going to provide some incredible new tactical options for your Adeptus Mechanicus armor. 
And that's really all we have for the preview for today. Now, I still think there's something else attached to the Engine War book. And what I mean by that is that, yes, we're, we are getting a ton of units for the Admech and stuff, but every Psychic Awakening book has a HQ attached to it. What that HQ is, is kind of up in the air. We know that in this book, you have the Admech, of course, and all the cool stuff featured with them. You have Knights, and you have Chaos Knights, and you also have Chaos Demons. I personally think that it may be the Chaos Demons that may be getting the HQ choice, but then again, it also could be the Chaos Knights, because we all, well, we do have a HQ choice for knights already it's that silver knight i actually forgot his name is like all wolves on him and stuff like that and we don't really have that option when it comes to chaos knights so it's either up in the air i personally think between chaos knights or chaos demons who are going to get a hq choice in this book i don't think admech are going to get anything like that because admech are getting all the rest of this cool stuff i think they've had their fair share of new models but i definitely do think there's a hq involved somewhere in this book all right chaperoneos that's me done for another video thank you for coming thank you for watching as always if you actually want to catch up with the latest law in sang of the beast i dropped a video about that today it's over on the channel right now if you want to go and watch it all some really really cool things in there with the space wolves fighting the orcs the orcs are really really pushing the imperium in a lot of places absolutely smashing as you expect the orcs to do really looking forward to seeing what the lore attaches to this book hopefully it's on the same par as the one in sang of the beast because i actually did enjoy that bit of lore hopefully some new characters to come out of this as well because i think the admet chaos demons knights and also loyalist knights um deserve some love in that area as well thank you for coming thank you for watching as i stated leave your thoughts feedback everything like that down in the comment section and we'll have a nice little talk about it down there see you now have a great day and bye bye